Hello everybody, Fake Away Wednesday. Oh yes, uh, who's looking forward to it? Me, I am, that's for sure. Nat's favourite day. I'm going to get right into this one. Um, it's not going to be hard. It just needs to marinate and that, so I've got to get a crack on. So right, so what I've got, I've got myself some chicken legs and uh, chicken thighs, bones on, skins off, just cutting half all of them. Uh, 1.4 kilo. Got them. Um, I didn't tell you what I'm doing, did I? I'm doing uh, Caribbean curry with peas and rice, coleslaw, and plantain. Is it plantain? 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 Something like that. Looks a bit like bananas. I'm doing that. It's going to look delicious. I got it off a, a, a lovely old lady. She lives in Jamaica with her two sons. Uh, I'll leave a link to the channel down there somewhere. Um, check out the recipe there yourself, everything I'm going to use. So this is basically an authentic one. I know there's loads of different ways of doing it. But this is her way, and it looked delicious, so I thought, well, I'm going to do it. So, I've got uh, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, uh, two tablespoons of all-season purposing, five tablespoons of curry powder. I used hot because it's Jamaican in it, so it's a bit spicier. A teaspoon of ginger puree. Uh, a teaspoon of chopped garlic. A teaspoon of uh, ground allspice. I've got uh, a few sprigs of thyme. A scotch bonnet. Some, uh, one medium chopped onion, diced. And I need two tablespoons of chicken gravy granules with 250 ml of water but I don't need that yet that's for the curry base after so it's quite simple basically move all this off get everything into your chicken and marinate it apart from obviously your scotch bonnet so it's, not, it's nice and easy put a scotch bonnet over there for a minute Get it all in. I wash that. I don't know if I told you. I wash that with a uh, lemon and vinegar. Now let's give it a wash. Uh, it's been in the fridge for a little bit while preparing everything. It smells delicious. I don't really like lemon, so I'm gonna get everything in. Get it all in. Where's that spoon? And basically, you mix it all together. Give it all a mix, get everything coated. Um, if you leave it overnight, the better, but obviously for the recipe, for the video, I can't really leave it overnight. Oh, it smells delicious already. That ain't even cooked yet. I ain't got the onions in yet. I'm gonna get them in in a second. Get them in now. There we go. Give it all a mix. And we wanna leave it as long as we can. And I'll leave it as long as we can. Um, I say you can leave it overnight, do it the night before, and it's quite simple. I say them chicken legs and that, uh, chicken thighs, do I say breast before? Chicken legs and chicken thighs, it is, I don't know if I said breast or thighs, I can't remember what I said. There it is. Oh yes, oh yes. Right, I'm going to get that in the fridge. I'm going to leave it as long as I can. Um, and while that's in the fridge, I'll, uh, I'll show you how we're going to do the rice and the peas and the coleslaw. No need rushing on that because I've got to wait for this to marinate as long as I can. So I'll bring you back in a minute. I'm back. Right, been in about four hours or so. I can't really leave it any longer because I've got to get it cooked and then I've got to get it edited and uploaded and that. So otherwise it won't get up tonight. Um, so right. <laughs> I've prepared everything anyway while I've been off. I've got the chicken. I'll show you first. Show you the chicken. There's the chicken, if you can see properly. You'll see when it's in the pan anyway. We'll move that over there. Now I've got, for the for the rice, I've got, it says two and a half cups of rice, uh, rinsed out, which I've rinsed out already. I've done three cups, because I don't think I'm that. I'll eat the beans in the rice, so I'm going to do a, a separate plain rice just in case. But we'll see. And I've got 
Uh, two tins of red kidney beans, which I put in water like it says. I've got three spring onions, one small onion diced up, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic, got garlic, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of allspice, couple of sprigs of uh, thyme, and uh, a scotch bonnet. Don't worry about the scotch bonnets because they're not being cut up. They're just going in for like the flavour. So don't worry about panicking, they're going to be boiling hot. Coconut milk. So, that's it really. So we'll get over the cooker, we'll get the pans on, and we'll get it cooked. Right, roll, roll up uh, the cooker. First thing you want to do with your chicken, is you want to get them, but you want to get all the, uh, the onions and everything off there. So pile them all off. And you want to get two tablespoons of oil in your pot. It's just warming up now. Now they use the Dutch oven. Um, I ain't got a Dutch oven. I did have, but I broke the bottom broke and I've never replaced it. So I'm just going to use a normal pan, as you say. I'm going to get a couple of uh, oil in the pan now. It should be warming up a bit. There you go. And once it's warm, say get the stuff off your chicken and get them in. You want to get all your chicken browned up first. You don't want no onions or anything on there because obviously it's going to burn. And when this goes in, we'll start getting the pan on. I think you can see that, can't you, at the back there? I think you can. Well, I'll start piling them in now uh, and I'll peel them off as I go. Nice sizzle. And you want to get it all in. And we want to get it all browned up. I'm really looking forward to it. I am really, really looking forward to it. Obviously, it's not going to taste exactly the same as theirs because, you know, them Caribbean cooks are absolutely superb, aren't they? But if I can get it tasting quite nice, I'll be happy with that. All this stuff in this bowl where the chicken is, it's all got to go in there after, after you brown the chicken up, so... Right, it's starting to brown up now. Um, see all the goodness at the bottom there? That's what you want, because that's all flavour in there, that is. Oh, yes. Now I'm going to get the rest of me stuff that was in my, my marinade that was in there. We get that in. Want it all, get it all in. Yes. And then I've got 250ml of water with two tablespoons of uh, chicken granules. I know some people use browning, don't they? Uh, but this recipe doesn't call for it. And give that all a good mix. Get all that goodness off the bottom. And I also think, don't they use, oh, smell the heat in there, don't they use um, Jamaican curry powder? I don't know where I'll get that from, to be honest with you. I'd have to have a look and try and get, grab some. I think they probably do, don't they? Maybe get it offline or something. And stick your scotch bonnet in. Um, say you don't cut them up, you just stick it in. It's more for the flavour. Get the lid on. Boom. We'll let that do its thing. Actually, I'll swap it over because then I can show you that on there. Right, I'll swap some over. Uh, we've just got to wait for that to boil now. So we'll get that steaming. Then we get all our ingredients in. I showed you earlier. Then we get the coconut milk in. And then we get the rice in. Then we cover it for 40 to 45 minutes on a medium meat and just see and it should cook at about the same time fingers crossed right the beans and the water's boiling now so now basically you get your in all your ingredients in salt pepper allspice thyme ginger uh, uh, garlic i mean get it all in onions spring onions 
and your pepper, your scotch bonnet. Get it in. Give it a stir. Oh, yes. I say you can use whatever beans you want, can't they? But I did say you can use these beans on this recipe, so that's what I'm using because it's more convenient. I've got to get my rice in. Um, as I say, I'm not going to put all the rice in because I'm going to save a bit back for that. Should be about enough. Give it a stir. Now that's got to simmer for 45 minutes, believe it or not. We're not simmer on medium meat. So just give it a good stir first. Don't get going anywhere, you. And that should all pop up and it'll be lovely. Right, I'll leave that on to simmer. Um, I did say put some foil over it actually. You all can remember, get a bit of foil on it. And we'll leave that, um, yeah, 45 minutes. Guys, I forgot to put the coconut milk in. Look at me. Oh no, I'm not gonna stick it all in now because obviously, Oh, it's only been on about four minutes, five minutes, but Jesus, I forgot. It's supposed to have gone in before the rice. I think it'll be all right still. It'll still go and get in there, won't it? I'll give it a mix. Absolutely forgot. I just looked around and thought the coconut milk. Oh, dear. So remember, put the coconut milk in before the rice. I'll give it a stir. Now it's only been in about five minutes, so it shouldn't be too bad. I can't believe that. And it was smelling delicious. Well, it was smelling delicious, but it was also smelling very hot. Um, so, there we go. Put the coconut milk in before the rice. <laughs> right, guys. Uh, the chicken's cooked, it's over there. I've turned it off, it's coming off the bone a little bit, so I've turned it off. Uh, my rice is nearly done, I'm just putting that rice on. So now I'm going to do the coleslaw now. I've already chopped it up. I've got myself a quarter of uh, white cabbage, chopped into strips. Three grated carrots. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. Uh, one tablespoon of salad cream two spring onions and four mayo tablespoons so basically get it in i'm just going to keep doing the same pot i've done my uh, carrots in because it's just as easy for me and it so i have all the washing up even though i've got loads of washing up to do oh and a bit of vinegar whatever the vinegar is i needed like a tablespoon of vinegar towards the end that's all so let's get this incorporated first I do like a bit of um, coleslaw. I really do. And just get your condiments in. And we give it a mix. Just turn that rice down and that rice a little bit. There you go. Probably bubbling away in the background. Just gonna get it all mixed together. I might need a bit more um, mayo, but I'll check as I go. Now I want about a tablespoon of vinegar. I might have to put a bit more mayo in yet. I'll still check just to see if we get a bit creamier. Doesn't look that as creamy to me. But as I say, it's all in the taste. It's all in the taste, isn't it? Well, I've got my plantain, plantain, whatever it's called. Apparently you chop the ends off, I've never had one of these before. A bit like a banana, ain't they? But they've got to be cut. Um, cooked, I mean. Now they say the blacker they are, the better they are. So, and apparently you have to cut it long ways, don't peel it like a banana. Cut the skin off. And you should be able to peel it sideways, like that. There you go, look. Never had one before.
And I'm going to fry these ones up. I think there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to fry mine. Because it's convenient. A couple of minutes. I'm going to cut them um, like that, I think. I bought two of these. Um, it was only cheap. About 30p, I think, or something. I'm going to have them like that. And we're just going to fry them up. That's what I look like, look, if you haven't seen them before, I've never seen them before. Can't eat them raw though, apparently. Apparently they turn a bit like caramelised sugar or something, I think. Right, we'll get them fried up. Right, everything's done. Um, my rice I've done, it looks a bit mushy. I don't know if that's because I've put the coconut milk in after. Um, but I haven't tasted it yet, it just looks a bit mushy, that's all. And that's why she's done there, I've moved everything so you can't see what it looks like yet. So we'll have a look at it all together. So I'm going to get these plantains, plantain, whatever they're called, in the oil. Should be hot now. And you want to fry for a couple of minutes on each side. <whistles> but it does smell spicy in here. Um, and as for the curry, Theirs looks a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit more yellow. But I'm wondering whether that's to do with the, the, curry, the curry powder you use. But hey, as long as it tastes nice. Right, I'm up the table. Nat's going into hers. I don't know what she face is a bit at the minute. I did lick a bit of the sauce and it was quite spicy. Um, I'll show you mine and I'll leave a picture up of theirs. I don't think I'm far off. My rice is quite mushy um well everything else don't look too bad apart from well let me show you so there's mine there we go um there's my rice there there's my uh plantains things whatever they're called there's my coleslaw that i made that smells what my coleslaw mm. is it nice yeah right. and there's my chicken see what i mean it's falling off the bone a bit but i think there's might have been a bit, little bit more yellow um, but I think that might be just because of the curry powder they use, that's all. So, and that seems to be enjoying her. So it's a bit spicy, but a little bit but nice, mm. is it? Mm. Do you want to try some of my... I didn't put you in on that, boys, because I don't think you'll eat it with them beans, don't know, you? beans, thank you. So she wouldn't have knew that. That's what I thought I'd do a plain. Thank you, Scott. Well, let's go into the rice first. I know it's a little bit mushy, but I don't know if that's because I put coconut milk in last, by mistake, instead of eating with the water first, or... It just goes mushy with coconut milk, I'm not sure. But we'll have a crack anyway, won't we? That's nice. Mm -mm. Oh, that's got a kick. Oh. Yeah, but not after the next couple of oh, 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 yeah, it has. <coughs> no, you get used to it after the next couple of weeks. Oh, no, I've got red. I've got red. <coughs> <coughs> I think it's nice. Ooh. I don't know what's happened to me. It must just... Jesus! Oh, no wonder you get the, uh, mm. the what's it called? Coleslaw. The coleslaw with it. Mm. Wow! <sighs> Try a bit of that. Go on. Just have a little bit on the edge. Rice, no. No? Just the rice without the peas. Just have okay. a little bit and tell me whether you think that's spicy. That'll do, yeah. That's but enough. The rice is spicy or the meat. The rice! Spicy. Oh. Oh. Is it burning ya? No. I just don't like it. It's not burning ya? No. Oh, I don't like your rice. I knew you would like that because of it's the on my foot peas now. and that. Oh. It, was, it was cooked in that peas water as well. Oh no. I can taste it. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible rice. <laughs> Bless that. Bless that little cotton That's the word than you normal, you see. God. Spice, that burnt me. Unless it was the sauce underneath, it's of the course. Sauce. That's how I was with my first mouthful. I thought, oh no, it's going to be really hot, but it's not, it's not that bad. It's got a kick. I'm sweating. I've only had one mouthful. It's nice, I love to make food. But that's why you got coleslaw and rice. Yeah. And you eat your chicken with your hands, don't you? That's mm. how they do it, don't they? Mm. That's why it's on the bone. Mm. I'm going to have a crack of the chicken. And cheers, really nice. 
I reckon that must have been the sauce in underneath the rice or something. Mm. That was burnt, that did. Oh. You took me back when I first had a mouthful, but it's not as bad now. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. That's lovely. It's yum. Oh, God, yeah. It's just falling off the bone as well. Mm. That's gorgeous, mm. isn't it? Mm. It's got a bit of a spice, mm. isn't it? It has nice. Yeah. I'm glad you made this coleslaw. Mmm. Coleslaw's really nice as well. Oh, a good job, isn't it? That is really nice. Yeah, let's try these. What are they called? Plantains. 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 How you say it? I've never had one before in my life. Ever. Never had one. Mmm. Nice. Can we breakfast and stuff? Oh, they're really nice. They're nice in Caramelised. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Can't remember the last time I had one. Mmm. Yeah, it's nice. The only thing I, I did try was the coleslaw because when I was cooking it, I put making it, I just put a little bit more mayo in it. That coleslaw's really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, that thank you. Really nice. Mm. All of it's nice. Mmm. I'm trying some of that sauce again because some of it burnt me. That sauce. There's loads in the pot. But that's how it was on their plate. They didn't have it like full of curry sauce. They just have like a little bit of chocolate like gravy sauce thing. Mm. Try a bit more of that. It's not too bad now. No. Oh, it's easy. I got it there. Apple. Maybe it's the first, first mouthful to get used to it. Now that's burning again, then. Now that's burning. You don't like that cut stuff. Yeah. But I've got a. Uh, it's had um, scotch bonnet in the curry, mm -hmm. in the chicken, and one in the rice. Maybe I've got a mixture of both. Maybe it's a bit hotter. Mm. Excuse me. You're coughing now, look. <coughs> That went down the back of my throat. Mm. So what would you mark this out of ten? What do you reckon? You haven't already took in, ain't you? Yeah, I'd have to mark Um I'd say you've definitely gone above ten. Mm. Mm. I'd say it's as top as you could go. You've you? gone above ten. Now that's me cooking it. You imagine if that old lady cooked it. Mm. That'd probably be a twenty out of ten, wouldn't it? I'm definitely going to everything perfect. I'm definitely going to give you above 10 today. Mm. Oh, I think that's a 10. It's got all the flavour. The rice has. I mean, I know you don't like that rice. Uh -oh. um, it's the beans. It's the beans and that. Because it was cooked in that bean sauce oh. as well. Um, so I knew you wouldn't like that. But everything else, the coleslaw is absolutely delicious as it was. I'll just put one more tablespoon of mayo in just to get it a bit... Mm. But that's all it needed. Um, the chicken is gorgeous and it just falls off the bone. That's it all. It's all gone. Mm. I haven't tried one of these yet. They're I lovely. Used to, I used to like them real bad ones. Really nice. Mm. They taste a bit like something like... Um, it's sweet, aren't they? Yeah. It so, reminds me of the circus or something. I don't know. It's like you've got the hotness, the coolness of the... The coleslaw. You've got the coolness of the coleslaw and then you've got, and the, you've got sweet the, the sweet as well, so it all goes together, doesn't it? Mm. It's all perfect. Definitely gone above mm. 10 today, sweetheart. It's amazing. Is that, I will leave a link to the, um, what they're called, natural flavour, I think. But there's one in there with, um, they're done with the nan, and this is the one it is. Mm. Papa Jamaican. I say there's loads of different ways you can cook them, ain't there? Everyone's got their own variety, ain't they? But I've seen hers and I thought it looked nice, so I thought I'm going to try that. But I'll leave a link there anyway, it'll have all the recipes in there and that, that you can follow. It's not, it's only chaos for me because I'm recording as well. If you're doing it on your own, and just as a dinner, it's not chaos. It's because I'm moving everything as I'm going along and it becomes awkward. Um, but apart from that, I will do this again 100% with you. 
definitely done a good job here, mm. Thank you. And I know people wanted the jerk. That will come, but not at the minute. I fancy doing something like this, which I'm glad I did. That's just all gone. I've got loads of them in it. I even get mine yet. Do you me? It's like a gannet. I'm hungry today. Mm -hmm. I never ate yesterday, did I? There we go. Take away, take away Wednesday. Caribbean curry. Um, Jamaican peas and rice. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be black mushy. That's probably down to me. Um, coleslaw and then plantains. Plantains. Brilliant. As I say, I am the old food guy. Want to try this? It's gorgeous. Honest to God, it's gorgeous. You've done this for a family meal for the weekend. Absolutely delicious, honestly. And if you don't want to put the uh, scotch bonnet in there, don't pull it in. Just put a little couple of chilies in or something. You ain't got to have it spicy, have you? Mm -mm. See you later. Bye bye. Finger licking good. <laughs> bye. Burning you. Yeah. Burning her out. I knew it would. Burning me. Oh, pardon. Once you get into it, that, is that sauce, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's even got the milk. Got a milk out. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. Yeah, it's not hot. Yeah, but I couldn't taste it while I was eating it afterwards. <laughs> oh.